When Bob won for honesty, Rummy went, this is your friend James, Jehovah Rapha and you, the God who heals thee and you. <coughs> I put on too much cologne. Um, the God, I might, maybe I put it in my mouth, but the God, the God, Jesus, our healer. This is going to continue because God wants you alive and well so you can contact this planet and bless everybody you need and come to, you know, the end of your life at a good, ripe old age, as it says, like a shock of corn in the book of Job, not cut off. Acts 10, 34 through 38. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. That word I say ye know, which was published throughout all Judea, and began from Galilee after the baptism which John, John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. This is in the... Near the end of the book of Acts, chapter 10, when Cornelius, the first Gentile, they got filled with the Holy Spirit at the end with the evidence of speaking in tongues. But this is the first Gentile where they used specifically, they proved, when they spoke with tongues, they could prove that God wanted the Gentiles to come into. Now, this was mentioned in the Old Testament, but it meant that all the blessings of Abraham, healing, prosperity, all these things that God ordained and he gave to the children of Israel, like Jesus said, the the children's bread, not cast the dogs, the lady, the Greek, the Syrophoenician, the, whose daughter was possessed with the devil. These people that it says in the Old Testament, God's the Savior of all. But Jesus ministered to the house of Israel. He ministered to his people in Samaria. He's, he, meant, he ministered to the genealogy of Abraham specifically. And now it's time for God when he told them in Acts 1-8 to go, you know, there'll be witnesses and, you know, to all Jerusalem, Judea and all the world. You know, and then he, before in Mark, where he said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel, he's saying it's for everybody. So this means now the healing and prosperity, this is a proof that since they got saved, that means that the blessing of Abraham, the blessing of God is on, is for the Gentiles as well. So you don't have to be the physical seed of Abraham. In fact, he even talks about us being the spiritual seed, not a Jew circumcised in the flesh, but circumcised of the heart. That's even the Old Testament. Then Peter opened his mouth, Peter talking to them, and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. This was when the thing, uh, well, you know, let the, you can read the chapter. God is no respecter of persons. That means whether it's for the Jew, the Greek, bond, free, male, or free male, God does not respect people. He is not one of those people who like the rich people over the poor or the poor people over the rich. But in every nation, he that feareth him. So, you know, Jew, Greek, Indian, Korean, Taiwanese, Malaysian, African, Puerto Rican, Mexican, every nation, he that feareth him, he that reverences God, and, and worketh righteousness, goes about doing things the way God says is right, not your own personal way, not, you know, you choose your own truth and do whatever you want to do, it doesn't work that way is accepted with him. So he that feareth God and doeth righteousness is accepted with God. Those are your two criteria to be accepted with God. If you fear the Lord, if you reverence him, fear him, and if you work righteousness, do what he says to do. And this, you know, he even says in the book of John, the epistle, the epistles of John, you know, he that believe, believe on his son Jesus, this is, you know, he says what you ought to do. So, you know, this is what he wants us to do, to believe on the Lord Jesus, you know. Um, is accepted with him. So there is your criteria to be accepted. The word, the word which God sent unto the children of Israel, God sent this word, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, peace on earth, goodwill to men, the kingdom of heaven has come to you. So the word which God preached, sent unto the children of Israel, he sent Jesus to Israel, and he preaching the peace by Jesus Christ, that's what Jesus was preaching. If you want to know what Jesus was preaching, he was preaching the kingdom. He was preaching peace. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Peace on earth, goodwill to men. He is Lord of all. Jesus is Lord of all. He came preaching. He humbled himself as a servant. He is Lord of everybody, everything, period. That word I say ye know, which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. This word, this is what which was published throughout all Judea. They knew Cornelius and all the people involved knew, which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee 
after the baptism, John preached. Right after John did his little thing with Jesus and said, Behold, the Lamb of God to take a sin from the world. The dove, the Holy Spirit came down like a dove, not a dove, but like a dove. Right after that moment, and Jesus took over. This is what this is what he's talking about. This is the word. What, what is this word that was preached? What was really being preached? What were people saying about the Lord Jesus when he was walking around? This is what they were saying. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. First of all, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Uh, Luke 4, 18 through 19, which he actually mentioned. And... You know, it's actually in uh, Isaiah chapter 66, I believe 63. But, you know, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. That's what he was reading. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He anointed Jesus. This is, this is what was being preached. Who, who went about doing good. Jesus went about doing good, not bad. He didn't do bad. God doesn't do bad. He doesn't put junk on you. He doesn't do bad to you. He said, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He comes that we might have life and have it more abundantly. So Jesus went about doing good. So if you heard about Jesus fornicating and having a child out of wedlock, doing junk like that, it's a lie. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. What does that mean? He was healing everybody who was oppressed of the devil. So that means everybody he healed was oppressed of the devil. That means that sickness is satanic oppression. Because if he healed everyone who was oppressed of the devil, it didn't say those oppressed of the devil and God. Those that, see, we're talking about Satan. When he came to Jesus and said, all these kingdoms and all this stuff is delivered unto me. When Adam fell in Genesis chapter 3 and Satan became the God of this world, is mentioned in the, the epistles that Satan is the God of this world. It actually, you know, look it up inside the King James Version. It says... They're oppressed of the devil. It means Satan was in charge. He was given oversight when Adam gave it to him and let Satan become his spiritual head. But he said healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Not all that God put something on to teach them a lesson. This is not the old time movies and TV shows where it says I'm going to teach you a lesson by beating you up. Well, basically you're just beating them up and showing them they don't need to fight with somebody they don't need to fight with. But God's not teaching you a lesson knowing you're not teaching you you know, teaching you a lesson, you know, because you got a little bold, so he threw something on you. That's not it. Even Paul, it said, lest he got uh, lifted up in what's name? Satan, the messenger of Satan. Those people coming after him everywhere he went. The Judaizers, it was bad business, but this is all oppressed of the devil. So sickness and disease isn't coming for, it didn't say all those oppressed of God to learn a lesson. All those oppressed of the devil. Keep it. This is what the scripture says. For God was with him. For God, so this means that God was with him, approving of and doing it. Jesus himself said in the book of John that the, we should that the Father is the one who does the doing the works anyway, not even him. So if you think about it, Jesus wasn't even the one doing the works. He says the Father was the one doing the works. But the Holy Spirit, God was with Jesus, which means God was working with Jesus. That means God was involved in the healing of the oppressed of the devil. That means the Trinity was involved. The Trinity is very serious, and they are they were working together to remove. Listen, how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. There's the Trinity right there. God the Father, Jesus the Holy Ghost and power. They're working together. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. So if God is with you, you will be healing all those oppressed of the devil. Christians and preachers. Mark, Mark 16. Read it in the King James Version. The end. This is God was with him, which means God is, when God is with somebody, he is, they're going against sickness, which means that how could God be working with Jesus to stop something God wants to do? Jesus said a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. In fact, they said, they, when they were saying that Jesus was working, he cast out devils through the prince of devils, Jesus was saying a kingdom divided of itself can't stand. So that means if Jesus is casting out devils and God put it on there, that means the kingdom of heaven is working against each other. But no, Jesus casting out devils from the prince of the devil, from the kingdom of darkness. So that means Jesus is going against the kingdom of darkness. So know the difference. Sick, sickness and disease is from the kingdom of darkness, period. And that's what it says. All of those who are oppressed of the devil. 
So, Acts 10, 34 to 38. Then Peter opened his mouth and said of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. That word I say ye know, that which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Let me be. And God is with you too! <laughs>